Hello, thank you for joining me for another episode of Festo's Garage. Today we're going to be changing the ignition coils and the spark plugs on a Toyota Prius V. Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to take these windshield wipers off. That way we can get access to the top of the engine here. So I got me a flat blade screwdriver and I'm prying up the cover right here over top of this nut. Now I have a 14 millimeter socket and an extension. You can use a socket wrench take these bolts off for of each one of the windshield wipers. Take and pull the windshield wipers up. Set them out of the way. I'm going to go take my screwdriver and push in these little clips. I'm putting a little pressure up on here this to pop up and out of the way all right got those out of the way there's supposed to be a little circle piece here but that's missing this one here it's already popped up flex up on this there we go so I'm gonna have to unbolt this wiper assembly too I was hoping to get this down and out of the way without removing these clips, but that's not going to happen. Now I'll sit this down first, then I should be able to pull this out and sit it off to the side. I'll pull the engine cover off, see my coils right here, and the spark plugs under them, and that's what I'm going to change next. So I'm back to my little small screwdriver that I used. Alright, so the way that I'm doing that sticking the screwdriver right in the front of this clip and I'm prying it up so that the little piece that sticks out of the plug can come off of this. Now I'm going to take my 10 millimeter I'm going to take these bolts right here out. Should be able just to pry these up with my hand pull them out. There's the coils. Get the spark plugs out. I got a deep well 14 socket and a little bit longer extension than I had before. I'm going to drop it down into the hole. Now this is not a spark plug socket. It's a regular 14. You feel any binding or anything? Just kind of rock back and forth for a second. You want these to be able to come out and not strip any threads. I've had these before where I've had to drop a little oil down in there. Let it creep back and forth into the cylinder. You'll know when it's loose. As you're going backwards, you'll feel a little skip. That's where it's going off the ends of the threads. So once you feel that little skip, you know that the threads are completely clear. Just take your little magnet, stick it down in the hole, pull your spark plug out. Our replacement is this NGK Iridium spark plug. There's my original. Here's the NGK replacement, it's the same thing. You'll notice that the tip on the NGK is designed slightly different. There's no need to gap these. You can just go ahead and put them right in the car. They're ready to rock. Drop them right down in the cylinder. Take my same 14. Get it started over the spark plug. I'm going to go backwards until I feel that click. Then I know I can thread it in. These spark plugs should thread in all the way until they're ready to seat against the washer. There should be no resistance. If there is resistance, do not force it. It should go in easy with your hand. No socket wrench needed. All the way until it hits that crush washer. Then you'll put your pressure on it with the socket wrench. Our 
for my coils. I got these intermotor parts from Standard Motor Products. The original factory ones from Toyota are Denso. Uh, so these are the factory ones, what they look like. This is the Standard Motor Products one. They look uh, the same. Push them down in there until they're seated really good. Make sure they're facing in the right direction where the bolt will go through the hole. Got my 10 millimeter bolts. Came out of the coils. Pop them back in. Now I'm going to start these by hand, each one. Make sure they're not cross threaded. Should be able to screw them in a little bit. At least two or three threads by hand. And that way you know you're not stripping the threads out. You strip the threads out, you're going to have a bad time. and just plug these back in I should hear a click just like that on each one got my tray here it's not too bad to get back in what you want to do is you want to make sure that you can slide it over and watch out for this cap while you're coming back in all right that's pretty good position right there let's go ahead and start all those bolts again you want to start all these before you tighten any of them down because you may have to jiggle the panel around and move it around to get the rest of the bolts in. So you want to leave it able to move until they're all started. This nub right here, this nub has to fit into this little feature in the back here, into this cutout. So when you line that nub up and slide this assembly over, it'll line up with the four uh, bolt holes. Just like that. Now I'm gonna hand start these as well. Don't strip it out, but make it to where you know it's not gonna come back loose again. Line this oil cap up, and that allows us to line the rest of that up. Pretty straightforward. The wire should just click back in place there. That little thing clip came out, but we can push that back in. There we go. So I got that set started. Got the wiper motor in. I still got to pull up on this and get this side to slide in. Right, see how I did that? Now, make sure this side's seated properly. There we go. Now, just push the clips back in. Put your two pins back on the corners if you've got them. Put the wipers back in. I like to put this one on first. Okay. My hand tighten both of these. Make sure that the seating where I want it to seat. Now that I'm sure that I got it where I want it tighten it down with a ratchet same thing with this one I've got a mark on the window that I'm trying to go by if you don't have that you want it to kind of fit even in here in line with this see how this has got a an angle to it you want this angle of this to be about the same right. and so this was the one that had the silver screw in the cover on it you notice I'm pushing down right here that's because there's a spring in here push down on it it's easier to tighten this up with your hand until you get to the point where you want to just snug it down with the ratchet once that's there I'll pop this cover back on just like that well there's another job done at the festo's garage and as you can see that's a job that you can definitely do yourself so go ahead tackle it yourself get it done the car's gonna thank you for it if you've watched the video to this point I'd like to say thank you very much if you haven't done so already please click the like button and subscribe. Well, until next time, Greg Festo out.